we are on a road trip to go and meet alumni from the University of Glasgow Arts Department. Yeah, we're finding out how we can use our University of Glasgow Arts degrees, finding ideas. Yeah, I'm just going into second year. I have like no idea what I want to do, so it'll be quite good like seeing loads of people. I'm gonna ask them all about like what they do on a day to day basis, like how they got into what they're doing. I wanna know if they like expected the career they took um in first and second year because I have an idea of what I'd like to do next year but um I want to know if like any way they followed a plan that they'd set up for themselves or they just yeah. found it along the way, picked it up. Yeah. What do you want to do? I, I want to teach. Oh so really? Far, yeah, so Well that'll be good. I think it'll be really cool seeing like, yeah, just like, yeah, what life is like living in different places, like outside the Glasgow bubble. Because we're like going through France and we're going to like Brussels, like actually these other places that you can move to and all these other cities that you haven't even like, like not even on your radar. I don't really want to stay in the city, um, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really a big city type. Teaching might take me anywhere. This is Bad Bull. We have three different yeah. types of gin all together. We do everything from all of the foraging yeah. to the distilling, bottling and labelling. And how did you find going from like living in Glasgow to living here? Well, yeah. my family have always been here, yeah. but I never anticipated coming back. Yeah. But being able to have a distillery here has allowed me to make a living back here in a job that I yeah. like. But that's a good thing about starting your own business, because you can just yeah. do exactly what you want and where. What are you guys studying? I'm studying history and politics, which I'm super enjoying for just now. Super enjoying. I, I'm just doing history, single honours, in yeah. the fourth year now, so I've picked my dissertation and all that good stuff. Would you ever consider, like, going down the business route? Or? I've never really considered it up until now. Uh, right now my passion is sort of teaching, um, mm -hmm. so in a different direction. Yeah. I mean, people think about starting a business and they think about doing it all by themselves, yeah. but you really don't have to. There's really good entrepreneurship services at the university, Yeah. and you can talk to them about that kind of thing. So now that your palates are cleansed... <laughs> cleansed? <laughs> Officially cleansed, sorry. This is our 1451 we'll be starting with today. That tastes really nice. It tastes what? really nice. Was That's there ever really any any other career paths that? Yeah, I was just excited to be doing whatever, and I think, mm. I think, yeah. yeah, you could be happy doing a few different things, and yeah, this one career doesn't have to be your one career your whole life. Yeah, scenic pit locker. Eh? No, it was really good meeting Helen and like getting to see her like in her workplace. I thought it was really cool because I hadn't. Like, I feel like when it's like, oh, going into business, you have this idea of cutthroat, got to be super mathsy and like able to run your own business. Yeah. But I loved when she was talking about the fact that having your own business gives you the power to do yeah, all the things you want to do. So we're here on day two of our trip, um, heading to our next interview in London with Chan, because yeah. we're going to Camden and yeah. it's a real cultural hub. Uh, yeah, no, I think it'll be really interesting to hear about what she did for her degree when she decided she wanted to work in media. No. Was this the plan? I have to be totally honest, no, I didn't have an idea. Yeah. I actually, when I graduated, I trained to be a teacher and it was only then that I realised I didn't want to be a teacher. <laughs> I wanted to do something where I was able to write and I was able to communicate. I'm Senior Commercial Comms Exec for Bar and Media. Basically, I do PR for the commercial side of our business. It's promoting all the really amazing work that our radio stations and magazines are doing to a commercial audience. Definitely. And do you enjoy being in London? I do. Yeah. It's really cool. No, it's it definitely for even just from like walking down the street there. Like it seems so like exciting. What kind of extracurricular things did you do? I played netball. Oh, did you? So I yeah. captained the club while I was at Glasgow. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you? The yeah. communicational mm -hmm. skills that I developed yeah. during my degree have been integral to what I'm doing. And people really appreciate those skills that you might take as very simple, or I do this every day on my degree anyway. If you can go into a job and you can summarize a document and you can present it to someone who doesn't have any time to do it, you are flying. Yeah, we just don't finish yeah. with Shan. Yeah which was really interesting. She was really friendly, easygoing, but also the kind of person that like gets loads hectic, of stuff yeah, done. Hectic. Yeah, yeah, like enjoys the chaos a little bit. 
it seems like she spends so much time like talking to loads of different people and like loads of writing and all that kind of stuff is stuff that I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. I really like Camden. Really Being busy, a, really yeah. beautiful. I could definitely imagine like living somewhere like this. I really like being here. I'm quite extroverted and I really enjoy being with people and like chatting to people. I'd want to do a job where like I was working with people every day and I'd want to do a job where I felt like I have, was having some kind of a positive impact on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not really a fan of crowds, crowded places. I'm quite quiet. I like to get to know people. It's part of what makes me want to do teaching and uh, I'd like like some sense to take care of people. Um, I think a teacher is a good job for that. So how long have you been working here? I've come up for three years. Was that yeah. sort of the plan to get into the energy sector? Did so I graduated doing history and French. Yeah. Um, I did a, a year abroad afterwards teaching English. I then joined the publishing firm. I landed a role with Boston Consulting Group in their energy practice. I joined Drax and I haven't looked back. So thinking about your different stages, yeah. honestly, trying out lots and lots of different things, lots of different societies, yeah. play squash, just loads and yeah. loads of different yeah. things. Find your passions. It really shapes Passion. you, like being yeah. able to talk to random people. Was there anything That's else you were interested in doing when you were in second and third year? So I was really interested in history. I was really interested in France and how its power has yeah. got, come and gone over the years. And I loved my years abroad. They were amazing. Yeah, where did you go? Um, so I uh, went to Lille. Oh, really? Um, there so, tomorrow. great. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Stay in there tomorrow um, night. It's really, really nice. We're just taxi on the way to the ferry. We've just met Gavin, had like a cup of tea and a bit of a chat about what he did as well at uni other than his degree. And Again, the other common thing was like trial and error. Yeah. Um, yeah, like what he was saying about like, it's not like you go to uni and you get all the skills you'll ever need for like every job there. You get loads of skills that'll then start you off and then you'll do a job that'll develop some of them you have to keep building. Absolutely, absolutely. Which is really interesting. This trip was really like an opportunity to see what other people had done. The process to get there was really part of it for me. Motivations are fascinating to me, really. Actually, I'm a really, really indecisive person. So I did A-levels and I started off doing chemistry, physics, maths and politics. And I was like doing them and I'd never done politics before, but I'd always been quite interested in it. So then I like one by one swapped my A-levels. So I ended up, I finished doing um, history, English language and politics. Fourth year in September, the big year, picked my dissertation topic, early medieval uh, Christianity. I'm always striving for better. Um, like I want to improve my grades into fourth year that I got in third year, even though I think I was quite proud of how I, I did. In terms of work experiences, I've been to like, an architecture firm and I've like worked at a law firm and I've like been into schools and like I've done all sorts and every time I'm like oh my gosh this is it but then I see something else like journals and I'm like oh that looks really good. I did volunteer last summer for two weeks in Germany working with recent arrivals, refugees who'd been settled over there. It was really good and that was really the moment where it sort of clicked that I wanted to work with young people. When I heard about this I was like oh my gosh that would be so cool to see what people are doing and like people that have done degrees like me see what kind of careers they end up in. I really like the ones that one doesn't have it but you know the ones that have the little countdown. So yeah we're just waiting to meet Rosie who works at the European Commission. We've been walking down this road from the metro and like every building has like big signs being like European Commission so we're not too sure which direction she's gonna come, come from. from. More cycles. I studied politics as well as French. Yeah. We thought I wanted to still do something a bit more political, yeah. so I applied for this traineeship at the Commission, yeah. um, and I specifically applied to work on the Erasmus yeah. programme and in education policy. That's how I ended That's up where here. you are now. So I'm just about to go into second year, which would be like the year where you have to apply for like, the option for yeah, 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 apply for like going abroad or whatever. How did you make the decision that you, that was something you wanted to do? I don't know. I just felt that I was ready to open the horizons a little yeah. bit and what a language degree yeah. can give you is that curiosity yeah. of what is it like 
somewhere else, you know, yeah. and I think it's certainly most of what I've done in my life is based on that curiosity, which is really yeah. cultivated and stimulated through those through those studies. Being a native English speaker, having the education that you yeah. have, the world is open to you. It's amazing. Doing French and then doing your year abroad, like completely just opened that all up for you. I went abroad and that was it. Absolutely a turning point yeah. in my life. Like, do you fancy moving abroad, uh, Nicholas? Defi- not doing Erasmus is definitely yeah. something I regret. I think in the future it's definitely a possibility. Erasmus is a, it's a lifelong learning programme. After you graduate, you can do internships abroad with Erasmus support. You know, we train cool. adult learners, we, we fund yeah. sport projects, yeah. for nursery school teachers to yeah. go abroad, for, you know, mm. it's all areas. So, doesn't mean yeah. that the opportunities I are open. I have to check that out. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Def- definitely yeah. On the that would be so now. cool. All right, so we've just come from the cafe across yeah. the street um, after getting a coffee with Rosie after our last interview. I came away from the conversation being like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to like have a Google and see where I want to go. <laughs> yeah, because, where you want to end Yeah, up. and yeah, she was talking about you've got to have at least two languages. Yeah, she definitely. was saying that language is like the big thing. She was talking about how it allows you to communicate with like a whole new group of people. Like, it, I don't know about you, but like it made me want to speak absolutely, like every language. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, I want this, yeah. like that whole open door that it gives you. I would come and visit you in your small small town. As long as you were as long as you were growing courgettes.